Hello and welcome to yet another Outworldly Experience! Okay, so in the previous video we learned how to create commands for ourselves. Now what we are going to learn is how to give color variety to our text, commands, or anything at all. So first thing, what we are going to do is we are going to create a module for our colors. So right click on your project, click on add, and then new folder. We're going to call this folder Utils because all of the utility files are going to be present in this folder. We're going to create, add a new class in it and we are going to call this class as colors.cs. Now in this we don't need to add any other header file. This is all you actually need using system. That is all. Now, inside the class, what we're going to do is we're going to create a variable of data type string and it is going to be a constant variable. What does constant mean? Basically, you cannot change the value for the variable in any part of the code anymore. Once it is defined, once it is initialized, you cannot change the value. So, what we'll do is we'll make it public and then we'll make it const. Const is the keyword for what was the keyword for it? Uh, whoa, I forgot. Constant. There we go. Then the data type. So data type is going to be string and the identifier for the variable, which is going to be, let's say I'll make two. One is going to be white and one is going to be cyan. So color, white. And how you define colors is very simple. First, you put the double quotes to indicate that it's a string then you put an exclamation mark then you open and close curly brackets and inside the curly brackets you're going to give a hash and then the hexadecimal for the color for the color white it is 6f123456 now let me create another color this time it's going to be cyan and I think for cyan it's 00FF00. That is it. For now we're just going to create two colors. And now we're going to use these colors in our me command. This command. What we're going to do is over here instead of using this, this P, this is pretty mainstream P. This P indicates purple. Let's say I don't want it to be purple. I want some color which is not predefined in the RageMP wiki. So we will use the color that we have defined in the utils folder. First of all, we need to call it. So we are going to modify this. And how are we going to modify? We're going to call the folder, then the class, and then the variable. So utils which is the folder name, then dot, then colors, which is the class name, and then the variable. We have two variables. One is cyan, one is white. So I'll take cyan. And that is it. Now, when you try to use me, instead of showing that purple, ridiculous purple color, it's going to show this color. Let me show it to you. Give me one moment. Let the console pop up. There we go. Now let my client connect to the server. Hold one second. And there we have it. Now let's try it. Previously, as you could see in the previous video, when we used the command me, it was a very shady purple color, which I completely despised. But now, it's sort of cyan. Well, not sort of, it is cyan color. So this is how you use colors and you incorporate them with any commands, text or anything at all. And you call any anything at all, any variable, any function via this. The folder, the class and the variable or the function. If you learned anything then hit that like button, subscribe for more tutorial and peace out.